Hola, soy Wendy Valencia. I am not gonna do this in Spanish, obviously, but I wanted to talk to you today about raising Melina as a bilingual child and how difficult it has been, surprisingly. Hello, sweet doggy. Hello, hello. Mauricio is obviously a native Spanish speaker. He was born and raised in Colombia and he moved to the United States shortly after we got married when he was 22, I think, and he turned 23 right after we moved to the States. Hello, I'm Melina. We all know who you are. Yo soy Melina. I guess technically Spanish is Melina's first language. We moved back to Washington DC when Melina was four and at that time, Melina spoke no English. She understood everything, but she spoke no English. So we started her in preschool here in Washington. Um, I say Washington, we, as you all know, we live in Virgi Vienna, Virginia, but uh, Vienna is a suburb of Washington, DC. So for category purposes, we frequently say we live in Washington. Look how high I can do it. That dolly is gonna throw up when you're done. No. Yeah, huh? Uh -uh. Look at her, she's like, bleh. Ollie, was that fun? Yuppity yup! Yuppity yup yup. My sister is the great swinger Look at this, you have like one super blonde spot right here. How funny is that? We moved up here when Melina was four and we enrolled her in preschool. Well, the reason we enrolled her in preschool, even though we were living with my parents for what we thought was a very temporary time, we didn't want to burden my parents with having to take care of a four-year-old all day, every day. So we put her in preschool and it was obviously an English speaking preschool up here. And within a week, she was speaking English fluently. It was a little broken, but, but for the most part, it was pretty fluent. Her teacher was amazed at how quickly she picked up English. But the secret was I had been speaking to her in English as her mother for her whole life. So she, she knew it deep down inside. She just had never practiced speaking it. About, I'd say three or four weeks into her schooling and preschool, she told me that she did not want to speak Spanish anymore, which she always has called Spaniol. She doesn't say Espanol, she says Spaniol. Um, and that's what she calls it in English even today. She's, she says, I don't want to speak Spaniol. So after the first three weeks, she basically came to me and said, Mommy, I don't want to speak Spaniel anymore because nobody else in my class speaks Spaniel and they're going to laugh at me and make fun of me. And that kind of broke my heart. Now, mind you, all of the kids in her class were bilingual. They, they spoke, um, gosh, I think there were like seven or eight countries represented in her class. So, you know, everything from, from Hindi to Chinese, I think. Um, but there were no other Spanish speakers in her class. She stopped speaking Spanish and virtually refused to speak Spanish for that entire year. And unfortunately, she lost a significant amount of Spanish. And so we went down to Colombia to visit Mauricio's parents. And if you want to see those videos, I'll uh, insert a link to the playlist of our, our last trip to Colombia. Melina spoke no Spanish on that trip. She wanted to, but she couldn't because she had gone, by the time we went, she had gone almost an entire year without speaking Spanish. That was really rough on Melina that she couldn't understand her grandmother. So when she got back, we decided that from this point on, we were going to speak in Spanish to her. What we have done recently is we have instituted the floor rule. When we are on the floor where our bedrooms are, my bedroom, Melina's bedroom, and Mauricio's office, we only speak in Spanish. When we go down to the kitchen, if there is somebody else in the kitchen, we speak in English. But if we're by ourselves, we speak in Spanish. And then when we go down to the level my parents live on, we speak only in English. And this seems to be working really well for Melina. She understands, she's back to you, understanding everything in Spanish, which is fantastic. She knows a, a giant vocabulary. Um, she has not really 
started putting together much in the way of sentences yet, but we're working on that. So what's really odd of all of this is I am the one that is trying really hard to get Melina to speak Spanish. I have to keep reminding Mauricio he needs to work on Spanish with Melina. It's actually quite humorous. So if any of you are raising bilingual children, I'd love any tips and tricks you have. Much like when we were living in Mexico and not speaking English there because my parents don't speak Spanish, we don't want to speak only Spanish in our household. So. If any of you have any tips on raising a bilingual child, I would love to hear them because this is so much more complicated than I thought it would be. Okay, look, kick. <laughs> I speak Spanish, I don't play soccer. Nope. He should just quit because he's gonna get it. Wait, wait, wait. He did it! Finally! Just say something in Spanish. Say something in Spanish. <gasps> Hola, gracias por mirar canal de YouTube de Wendy Valencia. I'll see you in the next one. See ya! Bye.